Jesus answers prayer. They have pulled down Jericho. Hallelujah. Jesus answers prayer. Cannot Jesus answers prayer. Prayer parted the red sea. Hallelujah. Jesus Jesus answered, I say nothing, prayer to God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus answered, Amen. Chapter 4, verse 12. The scripture says, For the word of God is quick and powerful, powerful. and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. By yes. the grace of God tonight, as you open your mouth, the word of God in your mouth. Praying for the sinners is going like a sword. A two-edged sword, a hammer that will break every heart and bring them to the surrender before Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This moment, and then begin to bless the name of the Lord and tell God, tell God that the power of the word of God in this coming crusade <laughs> will touch and will open the heart of every sinner the heart of every backslider in all the world communities around us in Jesus' name. Open Amen. your mouth and begin to pray. Holy Spirit, touch them. Why? Because the sinners, people are crying day and night, and they are saying, O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Who shall deliver me from the body of the sin? Who shall deliver me from the yoke of this bondage? But your prayer tonight is going to make there to be a way for them. A cry and seeking for a way out tonight, calling on God. God will give them a deliverance. God will deliver them from the power of death, from this very body of death, from this bondage that is holding them. The power of God is going to do it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Spirit of God will do it. God to open their eyes. Let's pray. Oh Lord, open their eyes. By the authority of your word, the word of God that is sharper than any two edged sword. Oh Lord, open their eyes. Word of God that is powerful as a hammer. Oh Lord, open their eyes. Open their spiritual eyes so that they will see. Open their spiritual hearts so that they will understand. Oh Lord, touch their spiritual minds so that they will be surrendered to the authority of the word of God. Oh Lord, touch their spiritual desires. Touch their hearts that Lord, their desires will be unto God. Their affection will be unto God. And love will be unto God. Lord, create that in their hearts, oh God. Oh Lord, every stony heart break it into pieces tonight. Lord, we break everything into pieces tonight. We command that the power of the word of God, we command that the spirit of the word of God will bring them upon their knees. Right at Calvary, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for this cause the Son of God was manifested, destroyed the works of the enemy, whatever the works of the enemy, tying their heart, tying their mind, tying their soul, tying their life, so that they are crying day by day. Say, oh wretched man that I am, 
who will deliver me? Oh Lord, deliver them tonight. Oh Lord, deliver them tonight. Deliver them where they are. Deliver them where they are seated. Deliver them from their Lord God and Mary, their bondage. Deliver them, Father, from every kind of lifestyle that is keeping them in subjection, in servitude. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, set them free. Lord, set them loose. In the name of Jesus, pray, brethren, as the Lord makes rain to fall upon all souls. Let's pray tonight that, oh God, let your spirit, the spirit of conviction, fall upon the lives of every soul that is going to be every sinner that's going to be in this crusade. They will not be able to escape. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is the pleasure and the will of God, the desire of God that souls be saved, that souls be added to the kingdom of God, that souls be delivered from their sins and from their evils, souls be brought to the kingdom of God. They do not die, and that's why in, uh, Ezekiel, in, the, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 20, chapter 18, the Bible tells us in verse 23, have I any pleasure at all that the spirit to die to the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and leave? We are going to pray, oh Lord, it is not your desire that all the wicked should die. It is not your desire, therefore not see your love for them. Therefore not see the picture you have for them. Therefore not see how you love them, Jesus. how Lord, they are going the Father, down on the cliff, oh God, fall into eternity, in eternal hell, Lord God Almighty, and to go into eternity without Christ. But Lord, look at your desire for them. We say, oh God, because it's not your desire that the wicked be should die. Oh Lord, God, oh Lord, let them return back on you, and they will return back on you. Let their heart be turned back on you. In the name you will Jesus. remove the heart of this of the stone, Father, and give them the heart of the stone and the heart of the stone. Of the name of Jesus, of the heart of the stone in the hand of the Lord. Oh God, it is not your pleasure that the wicked shall die. Therefore, your mercy save them. Therefore, your love save them. Therefore, your passion, oh God, for their deliverance save them. Therefore, Lord God, use every method to bring them to salvation. Said the Lord God, and not that they shall return from their ways and then to leave. Oh Lord, let them leave. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let them leave. Lord, let them leave. Let them not die, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Save them, oh Lord God, from every bondage. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bring them to deliverance, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just hear the Lord. Lord, the Holy One of Israel, Maker, ask me the thing uh, concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hand. Command ye me, brethren, we are going to remind God of His coming. But the Lord has said that if we ask for, the, you know, for any soul, every soul, the soul of the sinner, if we ask for the healing, the Lord said He will give us. That's why we are coming to the presence of God and asking the Lord, Oh God, we are commanding, we are bringing you to remembrance of your promise. Your promise said we should ask, Oh Lord, and that we will receive. The promise said if we ask the healing, Lord, you will give them to us. Therefore, we are praying. Every heathen, in every continent, in every city, in every nation. Oh Lord, tonight, Lord God, give them to us. Lord Jehovah, bring them to us. Give them to us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, let's pray. God will bring them to salvation in the name of Jesus. They will be delivered by the power of God. And the word of God that will be preached in the crusade will convict every sinner in the name of Jesus but remember that very message as in the hand of an angry God and God did it that day by the grace of God tonight we pray in this crusade oh God you will do it again that men and women will tremble at the word of God 
Men and women will tremble at the sound of God's come, God's word. In the name of Jesus, there will be conviction that will drive them to Calvary. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the Spirit of God will arrest all categories of hardened sinners. Arrest all categories of hardened sinners. In the name of Jesus, God did it in the life of Paul of Passos. And then the church was prayed, Oh Lord, deliver us from this man. And God arrested that man at the right time, at the right place, at the right instant, at the right moment. And the man was an instrument in the hand of God. The prayer tonight will bring some talk, Paul of Passos into the, you know, to the presence of God. Or bring one Paul of Passos to conversion. In the name of Jesus, remember when many of you know, made a command because the power of God touched him. And he said, I command all nations and tongues and people to worship this God of Daniel. We are going to pray, oh Lord, let all these people, whether they are great people or small, whether they are rich or poor, oh Lord, all hardened sinners, let them bow to the name of the Lord. Let them make a declaration to serve our God. Let them make a declaration to worship our God in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, bring them to salvation by your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be saved to the praise of God by the Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Acts chapter 16, I'm going to read verse 16. Acts chapter 16, verse 16. The Bible says, And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought a master much game by suiting. And you know that individual, this very lady, she was an individual that wanted to use the diabolical approach to hinder the word of God from spreading. If we are going to pray at this instant, every kind of the Lord will get every sinner, every backslider, and an uncommon interest in the word of God in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouths and pray that, oh God, let it be an uncommon desire in the heart of every sinner to come you know, to desire more of God, to love more of God, to want more of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouths and pray. The center of Apple, the city of Nigeria, we worship God, partners, and attended, gave attention to the things which were spoken of Paul. Let's pray that the word of God that made Lydia to give attention to the things that Paul was preaching, that same word of God will make the people in the crusade, the people online, the people in the city, the people in the in the village, the people in the community, the people in the continent, the people in the country, they will give attention to the word of God that has been declared in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let your spirit walk upon them. Let your power walk upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. And then there was this jailer. Then the jailer called for a light and sprang and came trembling and fell down before Paul and before Silas and brought them out and said, what must I do to be saved? And in verse 32, and they spake unto him then, and they said unto him, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. And at the end of the day, they all got saved. We're going to pray. Lord, by every circumstance by which you made this man, this jailer, to give his heart to Christ, and then his household, you made an you influence the situation. Oh God, bring a situation, influence the situation, influence the, the, the crusade, it bring every situation, every circumstance to the conversion of the people in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray, my brother. Open your mouth and pray, my sister. You know what God used for this very jailer? It was the moment of arrest of the apostle and silence, they kept them in prison. 
reason and that led to a salvation. Oh Lord, whatever you will use to bring the souls in this very crusade, oh God, to salvation. Whatever you will use, either the wind, or you will use circumstances, or you will use incidents, or you will use events in the crusade, oh God, whatever you will use. Every phrase, oh God, every word, oh God, every clause, oh God, Father, use it as an instrument to bring this people to Calvary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to bring this people to redemption in the name of Jesus Christ and that the Lord the power of God will do it my brother because you are asking the Lord and because God is faithful he said we should ask and he will do it he said when we call he will do it in the name of Jesus and many of the Jews came to Mary and heard and had seen the scene which Jesus did they believed on him. They came because of Lazarus. They came because of what Jesus had done. And God used that circumstance to save the souls of the Pharisees, save the souls of the Sadducees. We're going to pray, oh Lord, every miracle will bring souls to salvation. Every incident will bring souls to salvation. Every divine you know, testimony will bring souls to salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, let's pray and ask the Lord that the power of God will do it. The Spirit of God will do it. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, bring every sit, every soul to salvation by the reason of our prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, and let your name be glorified, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And I'm reading Acts chapter 13, verse 8. The Bible says, But Elimas, the sorcerer, for so is his name, by interpretation, withstood them, speaking to them, or seeking to take to turn away the deputy from the faith. We are going to pray tonight every element that is seeking to make the hearts of these sinners more hardened, to make the attention of these sinners not be focused. We're going to pray the power of God will, will, you know, will blindfold them, will destroy their intention, will destroy their weapons, will destroy every instrument that they want to use tonight in Jesus' name. They want to cause wind, they want to cause rain, they want to cause any kind of diversion. Every ailing mass will bring them to subjection in, and to the obedience of the word of God. Tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a free course of the power of God, of the word of God, of the spirit of God. And let's decree as Paul the apostle decree, declared unto the man. And he became blind. Oh Lord, we blindfold every element. We blindfold every works of darkness and every Pharaoh that will not let our be the people of God to go. That will not let the people of God out of his bondage. That will not let the people of God out of his servitude. Will not let the people of God out of Egypt. Oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, the, the, this will destroy every power of Pharaoh. Let the knee of Pharaoh be brought down. This mind, oh God, be made subject. Let, Lord, the angel of death, Lord God, go through the city of every Pharaoh and bring them, oh God, into bondage and Lord God, bind all their works so that the people will be set free, so that the people will be let loose, so that the people will be let go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Good night is the night, amen. The night of victory, amen. Tonight is the night, amen. The night of victory, amen. I said, Tonight is the night, amen. Night of power, amen. Tonight is the night, amen. The night of power, amen. 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 Father, we are grateful, we are thankful, because you said whenever we call on your name, you hear us, O oh God. And see your people pouring their hearts down, Lord God, unto thee, asking that sinners will be delivered. 
Father, we bless you because we are going to see them in their multitude brought into your kingdom in this coming crusade and beyond. In Jesus' name, be the strength of your people. And as we keep on praying, Spirit of God, back us up to your glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We will continue in our prayer tonight. And our next session is talking about the converts, <coughs> salvation, and preservation. Our converts, their conservation and preservation. We want to thank God because of all those who have been converted throughout these various crusades. That will be where we will start tonight. First Thessalonians, let's take you from Apostle Paul. First Thessalonians 1, he says in verse 2, we give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith, labor of love, patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of the Lord. And then he says in verse 5, he says, For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as ye know what manner of men we are among you. And ye became followers. These are the things we are going to pray about tonight. Ye became followers of us and of the Lord. Having received the word in much affliction, in the joy of the Holy Ghost, so that you are examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. So our prayer tonight is beginning to, just like Paul, to thank God for all our converts. Let's thank God for all our converts. Let's lift up our voice to the Lord and thank God for all the, all the fruit that he has brought into this labor. We want to appreciate God that he has not allowed our labor to be in vain. He has not allowed us to labor in vain. He has not allowed the man of God to labor in vain. We are grateful to God that as we have done this program, multitudes have come into the kingdom. So let's appreciate God for that. Our Lord and our God, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful you tonight. We magnify you, we exalt you, we praise you. Thank you, Lord Father, for all the comforts that you have brought. We bless you, we glorify you, we honor you. We glorify you, King of Kings and Lord of God. We exalt you for those who have been born again. We thank you for those that you have brought in. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. We glorify you. that you have touched. Thank you for the souls that have been brought into the kingdom. Father, we glorify you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we give you praise. We magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Glory be unto your name. Glory be unto your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the souls that you have brought in. Blessed be thy holy name. Blessed be thy holy name. Worship you, Lord Father. We glorify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, everlasting Father. Glory be unto your name. 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 For all the souls you have brought into the kingdom. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Uh, this prayer is about conservation. So we are grateful that God has brought them in. But now our prayer is that the Lord will conserve them. Those that the Lord has brought into the kingdom, they will be conserved. Let's read in that first Thessalonians that we read again in verse uh, 6. Ye became followers of us and of the Lord. Ye became followers of us. There's no reason to do evangelism. A follower, if we will not make disciples of people. So, we are told here concerning the Thessalonians. When they receive the gospel, in whatever condition they receive it, in much affliction, in trial, in tribulation, but at the end of the day, they became followers. Followers of the Lord. First of all, they are followers of the Lord, and then they became our followers too. That means they were integrated into the congregation. So we want to ask God that those that have been saved as a result of this previous uh, crusade, and even the one that is coming, the Lord will integrate them into the church. Amen. The Lord will add them to the church. Amen. Let's put them out. The Thessalonians, they became followers of the apostles. What to ask God that as many as have been brought in, they will start following us. We don't want to be hearing that we can't reach them. We don't want to be hearing that they are not nowhere to be found. We want to ask God, the Lord who will not allow us to labor in vain, he will allow these fruits to become, you know, disciples. They'll be following, you know, the word of God. They'll be coming to the church. We'll be able to follow them all so that they can be disciples for the kingdom in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Almighty and everlasting Father, we are praying and asking now concerning the soul that you are giving unto us. Mighty everlasting Father, King of glory, we are believing and trusting you. Just like the days of the Thessalonians, everyone that you have brought in, they will be disciples. They will be disciples. None of them will be lost. None of them will be lost. Not a single one will be lost. No one, no soul among them shall be lost. Every one of them, Father, you will bring them in. You will bring them in by your power. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, we pray, we pray by your grace and by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, you will bring them in. Lord, you will bring them in. Holy Ghost, you will bring them in. In the name of Jesus, none of them will be hijacked by the devil. The devil will not hijack any of them. One of them will become candidates of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you right hand them in, Lord, we pray that they will become all over now. They will be growing in grace. They will be growing in grace. They will be growing in grace. Every one of them will be growing in grace. They will be concerned. They will be concerned. They will be preserved in the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. We will not lose anyone. We will not lose any one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord of Lord, King of Kings, preserve every soul that you are brought in. Disciple them by yourself. Lead them by yourself. Help them by yourself. Let your spirit be available for them. To be discipled in the name of Jesus. To be discipled in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. We pray that you will make it possible. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. The scripture tells us in the book of Romans chapter 10 how they can be disciples. We're going to pray that they will love the word of God because that's how they can be disciples. Nobody can be disciple by just, you know, you're just out there. Oh, I love the church. I love what they are doing. But they just never come in. They never hear the word of God. There is no opportunity to feed them. Romans, let me read it to us. Romans chapter 10. The Bible says in verse 17, So then, faith cometh 
by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Easter, hearing and hearing. Let me say this, maybe it will help to be able to make the prayer. You know, when I first came to the church, to the church, and I saw some of our leaders, the way they use the word of God, I was, I mean, I, I was afraid. I was afraid because it, it was like the word of God came so easily for them. You know, in any area, they have answers at all times. You know, they know how to cancel. So the fear in me was, boy, how is anybody going to ever attain to this? But you know what? I discovered faith comes by hearing and hearing. Knowledge comes by hearing and hearing. Wisdom comes by hearing and hearing. Understanding comes by hearing and hearing. There is a goal for hearing and hearing. It is to impart it and impart it and impart it until you cannot forget. You know, oh, the people bad. in the world, they said the same thing. One individual in the world said the same thing. He said, if you want to teach people a corrupt way, he said, you show it to them, you show it to them, you show it to them until they have nowhere, they can't escape it. You know, if you are going to teach somebody something good, you have to keep showing them the word of God. So we are going to pray for all these converts. The Lord will develop in them interest for the word of God. They will love to, to, to drink and to eat the word of God. That the word of God will become their, their native land. They will love to come to the presence of God. They will love to hear the word of God. Because their faith will only grow by hearing and hearing the word of God. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Hearing and hearing the word of God. Let's pray. Committing them. We're going to pray that God will create. So we create in them love for the word of God. Remember what the psalmist said in Psalm 51. Remember what the psalmist said. When he had created in me a clean heart, O oh God, to renew a right spirit within me. Let's pray that God will create in the heart, in the mind of all these converts. We create in them the desire, desire to love God, desire to love God, a desire to follow God, a desire for the word of God. They want to speak the word of God. They want to eat the meat of the world. They have a desire. Let's pray God Almighty, create in all these individual converts, Creating them a desire to love you, a desire for your world, a desire to follow, follow you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Father, we pray. Hallelujah. Please turn to them. The joy of fellowship, the joy of coming to you, the joy of loving you that we receive at the beginning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, fellowship is natural to man. It's natural to man. In Genesis, we were told, between God and man, there was an unbroken fellowship. God will come in the cool of the day, and Adam and, and Eve, they were ready for him. The love is coming. It was until sin came in that people didn't like fellowship. Adam and Eve didn't like fellowship. We are going to ask God that the yoke of sin will be broken in the life of the converts. The captivity of Satan will be broken in their life. And God will set them free to love God freely. God will set them free to love the fellowship freely. God will set them free to desire God freely. There will be a desire in their heart. Their heart will be panting towards God. Their heart will be longing towards fellowship. They, they will not get enough of fellowship. They will not get enough of coming to the people of God. They will not get enough of drawing near to God. They will not get enough of liking, of wanting to be like God. They will be hungry. They will be hungry. They will be a thirst in their heart. Open your mouth. You can say all these things. The hunger. 
They will love God beyond, beyond anything else. They will love God above everything else. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Then the Lord Father create, create in me a clean heart, O God. Create in me a desire to love you. Create in me a desire for your word. Because it comes by hearing and hearing. And there's no way your faith and your love for God can grow. And the love of these new people will not grow unless the word of God is repeated. They are taught the word of God. They are fed the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Say, Lord, we do it. Lord, we do it. Lord, we do it. In the name of Jesus, pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. The Lord, we deliver them from every guilt. All the guilt that the enemy is using to keep them away. The Lord, we deliver them. Let's pray that the Lord is good. We teach them what they need to do. How we win. Inspire them. Inspire them to love God. Inspire them to come to the house of God. Inspire them to the reading of the word of God. Inspire them to the preaching of the word. There will be inspiration. There will be inspiration. The Lord upon them. In the name of Jesus. God will inspire them to righteousness. God will inspire them to holiness, to righteousness. God will inspire them to desire Him. To desire God above everything. In the name of Jesus. Let's God we do it. God we do it. God we do it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray that we find satisfaction in God. Amen. Their old life will be distasteful to them. The life of sin will be bitter to them. And the worldliness that are trust people in the world, they will be repulsive to them. Amen. God will create in them a clean spirit, Amen. a desire for cleanness. The old life becomes repulsive. The new life becomes attractive, shall we pray? Amen. And the new life, the new life in Christ. In Christ is a new creature. Let's pray that the new creature life, the widow they will desire it. They will love it. They will draw towards it. The old life will become abominable. They will hate the old life. That's the old life. In the name of Jesus. That's that God will create in them a bitterness, an agony for the old life. They will not, they will not desire the old life. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. The Lord will do it. We do it. The Lord will do it. By His power, by His grace. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will do it for them. Let's pray the Lord, let's pray the Lord. The Lord will do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This last passage I will read before we round up. It says, and with many other words, this is Acts chapter 2, verse 40. Mm -hmm. He did testify and exhort, saying, Save yourself from this untoward generation. Mm -hmm. You know, there is something a man needs to do, do to get himself out of this pollution that is all around us. And the Bible says in verse 41, Then they that gladly receive his word, they were baptized. They were baptized. And the same day, they were added unto them. We are going to tell God this is our last prayer for this session. We are going to ask God in the name of Jesus. We, we help them you know, to get away from the world generation. They will save themselves from this untoward generation. Submit it to baptism. Submit to water baptism. That's the first identification with Christ. 
the name of our Lord. Let's begin to extol our King, the character of the King, the consistency of the King, the beauty of the King, and the creativity of the King, and the compassion of the King. Bless the Lord. Let's magnify Him. We need to be free in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness, beautiful King of glory, beautiful for situation, beautiful on Mount Zion, Beautiful in our lives, beautiful in our ministry, beautiful in the life of our Father in the Lord, beautiful for situation, for situation, for station, let's magnify the Lord, so we bless your name tonight, thank you for your goodness, thank you because you are trustworthy, thank you because of your character, thank you because of your consistency, thank you because of your faithfulness, thank you because you are God, thank you because there is else to magnify your holy name. Thank you for your children that are here today. Thank you for the saints that are call upon your name. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for the beauty of your holiness. Magnify you. Give you highest goodness. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we have today. Genesis chapter 4 verse 26 and to set to him also his son was born and he called his name Enos then began men to call upon the name of the Lord and so you are here tonight and we really thank God for you and we bless God for all of our brethren that are logged in you are members of a holy nation and the Bible says, unto this holy nation, God has given custody over the nations of the earth. It does not yet appear what we shall be, that is physically, but spiritually, it's already appearing. The nations of the earth are the beck and call of the sons of light. And so that's why the Queen of Scotland said she fears the prayer of John Knox over the armies. Don't be terrified by the armies. But the prayers of the saints, your prayers tonight, they will ascend to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Ready, they are ascending to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. So we exert our influence through prayer. We exert our influence through preaching. We exert our influence on the nations of the earth through the power of God. And we're tonight to pray for the nations of the earth. Didn't the Bible tell us in Psalm 2? The Bible says there, it says, ask of me and I will give you the heathen. 
Psalm 2 and verse 9. Ask of me, and I will give thee the heathen and uh, for, for, their, for your inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. So we've come tonight to ask for the nations. Already our pastor told us that the, the goal for this crusade is to reach 20 million people. Maybe a naysayer there will think, ah, how is that possible? Well, tonight, through your prayers, God will make it possible in Jesus' name. So let's ask the Lord that tonight, that this crusade will reach the ends of the earth. Begin to ask, talk to God in prayer, for the, for the hearts of the sons of men in Asia, in America, in Antarctica, in Africa, in Europe, that the Lord himself, not by asking for the hearts of men, we're not asking for the money of men, we're not asking for the messages of men, we're asking for the hearts of men. They are very hard to give me your heart. Let's ask the Lord. Here in the United States, here in the East Coast, and here in the Midwest, and over there in the South South, the power of God will drop the hearts of men. By the lifting of said Jesus Christ, I will draw all men unto me. Let's ask the Lord. Let's ask the Lord. Let's ask for the nations of the earth. Lord, we're asking this thing. Through your son, through your son, Lord, we are asking that tonight, through this crusade, oh God, you will draw the hearts of men, the sons of men, of every tongue, of every tribe, of every denomination. Lord, draw them, oh God, Lord, and draw the young and draw the old, draw the rich and draw the poor. For Lord and draw the poor, draw them that are without hope, Holy Spirit, divine, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And from that time, Jesus began to preach that repent of what is at hand. But Lord, we're asking as the message goes for him, Lord, it will touch the hearts of men across the nations. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Listen to this. Solomon anticipated the sins of the people. He was praying in the temple. He was doing housewarming. He was doing house dedication. But it was a different house, the house of God, the temple where Jehovah chooses to show his face. And make no mistake, where two or three are gathered, what's more, where two or three are gathered in prayer, Jehovah is there. Already that is a holy ground. And Solomon was praying and he said in Second, Second Chronicles chapter 7, and we're reading from verse 14. And we're going to anticipate, we're going to pray that same prayer. He said, if my people, yes, the nations of the earth are wicked. If my people, yes, the nations of the earth are broken. If my people, yes, the nations of the earth are in bondage. If my people, yes, the nations of the earth, they have all sorts of blight upon them. But Solomon asked a request. He made a request. He said, Lord, if, if, uh, if I shut up heavens, there be no rain. That if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, look at it, verse 40. If my people, which are called by my name, I told you that in those days men began to call on the name of the Lord. If my people cover my name, will shall humble themselves shall humble themselves and pray, not humble themselves and hide, not hum humble themselves and collide, not humble themselves and complain, not humble themselves and be sarcastic about the nations of the earth, not humble themselves and blame the president and blame the this. No, God says the only way I would work and I want to work and I choose to work through my people, if they will humble themselves and pray. And tonight we are praying. Mm -hmm. I said tonight we are praying mm -hmm. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Mm -hmm. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Let's begin mm -hmm. to commit the nation of the earth and begin to confess the Lord, forgive the sins of the nation. Begin to any nation that comes to your mind, any nation that has bothered you, is it the violence in Africa? Is it the confusion in America? Is it the idolatry in Asia? Whatever it may be, bring it to God in prayer. The Lord says, if we call upon his name, he says, if we will pray, he says, if we will 
intercede. The Lord will move on behalf of the nations. We want this crusade to be a crusade of impact. We want this crusade to touch the nations. Oh Lord, forgive. Oh Lord, pardon. Oh Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, forgive the sins. Forgive the bloodshed. Forgive the destruction. Understand something. The leaders of the nation, whether it's spiritual leaders, whether it's leaders in industry, whether it's leaders in politics, whether it's leaders in academia, whether it's leaders in arts and entertainment, they are the ones that control the masses. Most of the people is follow, follow. Most of the people don't have a mind of their own. And so the Lord knew. And so you capture the leaders, you capture a nation. You arrest the leaders for God. You have arrested a vast swath of people. That's what we're going to pray. The Bible tells us in Psalm, Psalm uh, 9 and verse 19. Arise, O Lord. Let no man prevail. Let the hidden be judged in thy sight. Put mm. them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. We're going to talk to God in prayer. And all the leaders of the nations, all the leaders in all the spheres, God will put his fear in their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shall we pray? Nobody will stand against this crusade. Nobody will say, well, shut down that channel, shut down that media. Look at how China has shut down social media and the vast majority of them can't receive anything. No gospel, no word, no spirit has asked God tonight. He will cross the people he will subdue them. No matter where they are, in the Commons Bureau, in the Russia, in the Canada, in America, in the Asia, wherever they may be, the spirit of the Lord shall be And all their wickedness, sons of men will know themselves to be but men. They are not gods. They are not gods on the earth. It's just men, men, men. So God, subdue them. 